So hi, I'm Lulu and welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. I'm here with my friend Luann. She's in Arizona and I'm in Massachusetts. And if you've been here for on my channel for a while, you all know Luann very well. <laughs> She's giving you plenty of laughs uh, in my videos. Uh, but uh, Luann and I have done some traveling together and um, uh, we're going to do more traveling together. Uh, so uh, she's a van life gal and we just really travel well together. And if you don't know who Luann is, then I'm going to leave a link to our, our top three videos from our Arizona trip. Should I do that, Luann? Yeah. There's probably a dozen of them, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll pick the top three, my top three favorites. And, well, uh, the courts, the court site and the, uh, and the, the swimming pool, the court side swimming pool. Yeah. And then the and then the van, the van, the van tour. tour. Yes, yep. I did a van tour. That's right. I'll send you Luann's van tour. Uh, so Luann called me. She had a great idea, and I think it's a fabulous idea too. Um, when I was coming to uh, Arizona to meet her uh, to do our six week trip around uh, Arizona, um, she suggested that I get the America the Beautiful pass. Um, because it's for seniors and you can get uh, a discount on a lot of different things. So this is what the America the Beautiful Pass looks like. It's it's the senior. Um, and this one that I have is, worth, is for the lifetime. So um, I paid $80 for this and it's good for life. Like I don't have to keep renewing it. It's eight, when you're a senior, it's $80 for life. I think that's how it works. But see, I don't know exactly how it all works. Luann knows exactly how it all works and thought it would be great to get this information out to the fellow seniors that are traveling around in a van because this thing can really get you some good discounts. So Luann, tell us what you know about this America the Beautiful Pass. Okay, well, the first thing is I love the America the Beautiful Pass, the senior pass, most specifically. There's, there's different kinds of America the Beautiful Pass. And um, since I've been around the sun 76 times at this point in my life and hoping to make it a few more, the senior pass is the one that I'm most interested in and, of course, the one that I use. But, you know, we don't want to leave out the people that haven't quite reached that point. So we'll start by telling you about a couple of the other passes just briefly. As I said, there's several different types. But all of them offer entrance, free entrance to 2,000 national parks and federal recreational lands. I mean, imagine the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, Grand Teton, arches for free. Do you know how much it usually costs to get into a... a, 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 a oh, I'd, I'd say a Grand park. Canyon... Grand Canyon's probably 30 by now. Wow. Okay. Oh, Grand so yeah, yeah, the Grand Canyon, the national park part of it, because there's other parts that you can go for free. But I'd say they're around around $30. Okay. But the neat thing about it is, if you go in a place, some places charge by the vehicle. So if you have a pass, or anybody in your car has a pass, everybody in the car gets in for free. Oh, now, I don't, I mean, you're not going to take a people hauler in there or buses full, but, you know, yeah. just a, a regular standard everyday car SUV right. type vehicle. And some some parks or recreational lands charge by person. But if you have a pass or somebody in the group has a pass, then the group up to three or four people can go in for free. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a great deal. And I know I've visited several national parks and all of us were covered in the, in the, by the pass. And I mean, like, what can you say about that except, wow. Yeah. So, so anybody can buy a pass. They're just different prices depending on your correct, age. Correct. Correct. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what some of them are. There's one that's called an annual pass. Now don't get too confused with annual pass because they use the same terms in different places. But the one that's typically called the annual pass is available to anybody that's 16 years or older. 
And that one costs $80 a year. Now, that one's just for the entrance and day use fees for, for parks and such. And But, you know, you go in a couple of times and, and it's paid for itself. Mm. Then there's also several free passes. I mean, free. Think about it. And I think one that's really great is the one, and I think this one just came out two years ago, is for the military. And that's any current U.S. military and dependents any gold star family members, and all veterans. And they're free. Then there's also the access pass, which is also called the disabled access pass. And that's for U.S. citizens and permanent residents that have a permanent disability. There's also another one for federal recreation site volunteers that have over 250 hours of service. And there's another one that I think is so cute. It's for fourth graders. What? For fourth graders. Yeah. How about that? And, you know, if you know of anyone that has a fourth grader, let them know because they can actually, the teacher can actually go in and sign up for class. I mean, you'd have to look online for that one. I don't know how all that works. And I think you can only get that one at a site. But it's, it's very worthwhile if a teacher would want to do that with their class or, you know, for families that have a, a fourth grader, just pack that child in the car and take off and see some of the great sights. Because as long as you have that child in the car, everybody in there can go into the park. So, so the child that, needs the child needs to get the free pass. The pass is the free. Child gets the pass. But I, like I say, I think that one you get at the site itself. I don't think you can order that one online. I think that has to be in person. So you'd need to look up something. Folks would need to look up something more about that. Huh. But, but my favorite, the senior pass. Yeah. And as well as the disabled, the access pass. These two passes are also available to US citizens and permanent residents. You must be a citizen or a permanent resident. And the access pass, like I said, is for anyone with a permanent disability. The senior pass is for those 62 years or older. And you're going to love this. These are perkier passes. And by that, I mean, not only do they cover the entrance fees to national parks and such, but they may even cover fees such as parking, tours, Boat launching, special permits, ferries, and best of all, camping. Yay! My favorite. Now, I, I can't tell you how much money I've saved just on campsites with my senior pass. I mean, it's it's fantastic. And the the disabled the access pass is totally free. Now, there is a slight charge for the senior pass, but it's still well worth it. You're supposed to say, and how much does it cost? How much does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> you can purchase the lifetime pass for $80. $80 for a lifetime pass with all those benefits. Now, I was lucky enough to get mine years ago when they were only $10. And I think at one point they were even free. But even at $80, I would I would still buy one. However, if you don't want to put out the $80 in one swoop, or you just want to give it a trial run, you can purchase an annual season senior pass for just $20. $20 for an oh, annual. It's either annual. $20 a year or $80 for life. Yes, but, but wait, there's more. If you, if you buy the annual pass and you save your annual passes once they expire and then you decide to purchase a lifetime senior pass, you can actually use your expired passes against the cost of your lifetime pass. Really? Did that, did that make the, sense? The for, full $20? The so full $20. For, yeah. For example, this say, okay, the la lifetime pass is $80. Mm -hmm. 
But let's say you have two expired annual passes. So they cost you $20 each, or for two of them, it would have been $40. You can turn in those two annual passes, and then they're basically the same as cash, and you only have to pay the remaining $40 wow. towards the lifetime pass. Wow. Is that not neat? That That's really neat, yeah. I mean, that is amazing. At least I think so. You think so? I think that's amazing. I think it's super amazing. Now, the next question, where do you get the America the Beautiful Pass, no matter which one it is? Well, well, it's except the fourth grade. You do have to get that one in person. Well, it's easy peasy. You can get it in person at many locations, such as the federal recreation areas or the offices, National Park Visitor Centers, the entrance stations, the, the fee booths. You can even get them at REI Sporting Goods. Really? I'm assuming that REI is nationwide, aren't they? Yeah, we have REI here, yeah. Very good. Or you can order them online. Now, the online, you're not going to remember this, but it's store.usgs.gov. Don't even try and remember it. I'll give you a link. Uh, I'll put the link. I'll, the I'll send you a link of, of anything. Link I'll put it in the description. Yeah. But now there's a bit of a small print. If you order them online, you do have to provide proof of your eligibility and pay an additional $10 to cover processing. But you only have to pay that once. And then it does take about three weeks to be processed. So if you're in a hurry for one, you might just want to wait till you get to one of the sites to get it because it does take a while and you're paying that extra $10. Passes cannot be downloaded. You have to get the physical pass. And unfortunately, they cannot be replaced if lost or stolen. So you need to protect them like you would any of your little treasures. So, so if you lose it, you have, to, you have to repurchase it? If you lose yeah. it, you have, you have to go through the process again. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Is that a deal or what? That's a deal. Now, when you suggested that I get this before I left my house for Phoenix, um, I did it online. I did do it online and I, I had the time to do it online. Um, and we used this in that six week trip that we did through Arizona. Uh, uh, we used our cards three times. So we used them at the Grand Canyon for the camping at the Grand Canyon. So did we get 50% off camping? Is that what we got? We did, we did. Yeah. And then we used them in California when we were at the, uh, what was the name of that? What's the name of that place? Was that Lake Havasu? No. But didn't no. we get half off at Lake Havasu? No, I don't think no? we did. I can't remember the name of it, but yes, yeah. we did use it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we used it, we also used it, uh, in uh, uh, Sedona. Sedona, right, Manzanita. And, and you know, the neat thing about it is if you, for example, I use, I used to use, or I still do use recreation.gov to make reservations. So let's say you can't find your card or something and you book something on recreation.gov. And then when you get to the park, you can, you can then fill in your, your details on your card and they'll they'll give you half back. Yeah. From what I understand. And that was another thing that I was going to talk about a bit about recreation.gov. You can book most campsites. Well, at least in my part of the world, you can book most campsites on recreation.gov or even entrances to parks, I believe, because some of the parks, such as like, for example, Arches National Park, in the summertime, a lot of these national parks are time stamped. So you have to sign up for a certain time that you can come into the park. And I believe you can do that on recreation.gov. But, and recreation.gov probably isn't going to like me, me for saying this, but recently I went somewhere and I didn't book in, in advance because I, they had first come, first serve. And a lot of times when you go into recreation.gov, you may not even realize some place has first come, first serve, because we didn't realize they had them at Manzanita, the place we went in Sedona. But 
if you reserve through recreation.gov, that campsite is going to cost you more than if you go and pay on site, first come, first serve. If you go into a site and rec and it, it's it's a significant amount. The other day I went to a place and on recreation.gov, it was $22 a night. And I would have gotten half, so it would have been 11. But since I went in person and took a first come, first serve site, it was only $14 a night and I got my half off. So I only had to pay $9 a night. So if you camp a lot, that 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 can make a difference. And plus, if you go on to recreation.gov and you reserve a site and then you need to cancel, they they take a chunk of money back for your canceling. I believe it's I believe it's a, you don't get your res you have to pay a reservation fee. You don't get that back. And I, I couldn't really figure out what they weren't paying me back because I canceled something recently and they charged me eighteen dollars to cancel it. So just be aware if you're using recreation.gov. And unfortunately, a lot of campgrounds, even national national campgrounds, are switching over to recreation.gov. Mm -hmm. But just be aware, if you can do it in person, you might save some money. Yeah. Can you reserve, like, en entrance to parks or... Or... I believe you can. I went on there because I was looking up. I was trying to find the cost of um, one of the parks. And that particular one, they wouldn't let me reserve it. It just said that you had to go to the National Park website because of the timestamp. But you may be able to, you know, that's something. I would, in, in fact, Lulu, you know, I, I tried to find out the basics of the passes. But, you know, I could be getting something wrong. The rules change from year to year. Right. Yeah. So I would certainly advise anybody, you know, if they're interested in this pass, to, to go online and try and investigate further yourself. And, and then, too, there's, um, I'll give you the links of the sites that come under. It, America the Beautiful is called an inter-agency inter pass. And it's honored at sites where entrance fees or day use fees are charged by the site. Now, the, the reason why it's an interagency card is because there's several agencies, government agencies that have come together to share this, this beautiful perk. The Forest Service, National Park Services, Fish and Wildlife Services, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I know on the East Coast, I think there's a lot of Army Corps of Engineer sites, at least it was when I lived over that way, and BLM, which is Bureau of Land Management and the Bureau of Reclamation. And Lulu, I'll give you the links to those sites too, to the agency websites. And then if folks want to know something more about that particular one, you know, they can go to that link and it'll take them to the website for that agency and they can find out information. But I mean, this this is such a fantastic perk, and it's and it's not publicized that much. I mean, I'm amazed when I go on to Facebook, which I spend way too much time on reading about camping and YouTube reading about camping. But I'm I'm amazed at people who have no idea about the America the Beautiful Pass, mm -hmm. and I mean for seniors, the Senior Pass and the Access Pass. I mean, it's it's just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I feel like I feel like mine in those three times I used it in Arizona, it probably paid for itself. Oh, it did. And this is for life. So yeah. unless I unless I lose it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the thing of it is, I consider myself so lucky uh, living in Arizona because out this part of the, the states, yeah. we have so much. We have so many campgrounds, parks. Oh, let me mention this. I know this shows me sitting on the beach. There aren't any beaches in, in Arizona, really. But, you know. That's all I, fake? That's all fake it, behind you? A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I like the picture, and, and it helps me to dream. But, um, but, yeah, I'm so lucky in this part of the world. And when you come out this way, I'm sure we'll find places that we can use it again. Yeah. 
right, right. And I use so, mine a lot. I use mine a lot. Oh, the Tennessee Valley Authority. They they will accept for some things, even though they're not part of the interagency group, but that people would have to call them and ask specifically what they cover. So in Sedona, in, at that campground in Sedona, that was not a national park. So why was, was that? I believe that was Forest Service. Okay. And, you know, I can't keep up with all of them. But, you yeah. know, here in Arizona, we have a lot of Forest Service. So a lot of our places would, would come under forest. So anything federal, basically, yeah. not state, par state parks? No. No, it, it doesn't cover state parks. But I've been someplace that I thought it was a state park, but I guess it wasn't because it covered it. Like I say, you just got to. And yeah. one way that you can find out in a lot of cases, you can go on to recreation.gov and search on a, a specific place and, and see what comes up as far as campsites. And or just, you know, search on the park itself under the park name, under their website. Or give them a call and say, do you accept them? I mean, what have you got to lose? Right. Yeah. Because really, 50% off of camping, if you're, if you're camping a lot, that, that adds up. That's good. That's good savings. Yeah. Excellent. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. One, so, of, one, of the, one of the enjoyments of getting old. <laughs> is senior discounts. Yeah. I keep looking for little things. <laughs> Thrift stores, thrift store yes. discounts, senior yes. discounts. Yep, and uh, yep, there's a lot. That I like, I, I like a senior discount. I do. Absolutely, we've earned it. We've yes, earned we it. have. Yeah. Yes, we have. Yeah. So we probably won't be using this in Texas. <laughs> probably not, because I guess we'll just be hanging out on the beach, and I hope it's as pretty as my background here. I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> will, there, will there be any palm trees? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that there'll be any palm trees. I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to Texas to the beaches for free camping. And yeah, you know, maybe my, the odd, maybe the odd hurricane or two, or oh yeah, we might have to be evacuating, but it will be an adventure. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I do love the adventure. I know you do. <laughs> and there's no and there's no bears. There's no bears down there. No bears. Well, thank you so much, Luann, for all this information. You just, uh, yeah, you you sold me on it. And uh, we wondered how many people really don't know much about it. And I think now they do. Well, and hopefully, I mean, if this if this saves one person some money, then we've achieved yeah. what we wanted to, Lulu. Yeah. And if this if this video is a year old and somebody's watching it a year later, could be different information. But like, so like you say. Like right. he, you've just kind of laid out like what's true for today to the best of your knowledge um, and that things change. Um, and uh, but it seems like no matter what little tweaks they make to it, it will still seems worth it, especially for seniors yeah. and fourth graders. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? So if you have a fourth grader, you just you go to a park and then at the park, you say we have a fourth grader in here. And then, then they'll they'll give that that kid a pass or just the pass for, to get in. I don't know if they give them a physical pass or whether it's you know since I didn't have a fourth grader, I really didn't have yeah, things. yeah, no, but that's interesting <laughs> to know. That's really cool. They probably figure fourth grade is just uh, old enough to maybe appreciate the park, but probably the youngest of those would that would appreciate the park. Yeah, probably yeah. Other than that is probably a little bit young. Yeah. yeah, but certainly if there's any teachers that see this, go on and learn more about it because they may have programs, you know, that you can introduce into your classroom even. I'm, I'm not sure, but it seems like I read something about that. But I would certainly say anybody that has a fourth grader, in, investigate it. Well, thanks so much. It was, okay. nice to, it was nice to see you, nice to talk to you, and I'll see you in six yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it was great seeing you and all of your viewers. Yay! Bye, Bye for, for now! now. <laughs>